Defense Industry Professor President Smail Demur stated that the testing of the Altay main battle tank engine is continuing. Stating that an engine from the Republic of Korea Iraq is integrated into the Altay MBT, Demur said that the first test results were good. Answering a question on a live broadcast on NTV, Professor Demur said, Currently, we have integrated a power pack from Korea into the Altay tank prototype. Testing continues on the prototype, and excellent results have been achieved. We have also reached a point in serial production. With the ROC, this is the first time this power pack has been integrated into the tank. Korea is not using this power pack in the tank because it is still using the German transmission. The Altay MBT could start mass production with this power pack in two years. Because the transmission will be used for the first time, the testing may take longer. Within the scope of the Altay project, design, development, prototype production, fire communication system development and command control were developed locally. It aims to develop armored systems domestically through technology transfer. In the first step of the project, a contract was signed in 2008, two prototypes were produced and tested successfully. Based on the agreement signed between the Presidency of Defense Industries and BMC on November 9, 2018, serial production of 250 Altay tanks will be carried out by BMC in the coming period. After a situation where everything was ready for production activities called T0, it was aimed to deliver the first mass-produced Altay tanks to the Turkish Army Command within 18 months, but the T-0 phase could not be completed due to the engine and transmission embargo from Germany. <laughs>